Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Team of the Season player review with me, your boy FIFA 1 HD. We are going to be looking at the 83 rated Team of the Season Smolov card. But before we do, it would mean a great deal to me if you would hammer that like button below, hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have any questions on this Team of the Season card or FIFA 16 in general, leave them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer those for you. So, jumping right into his stats, and as you can see, there's a lot of good green uh, stats there. I mean, his acceleration and his sprint speed are very, very good. He's so, so quick in game. His attack positioning is really good. And what's nice, he's a quick player, but he's got really good strength there at 83 as well. Stamina's not too bad. Balance and agility are also pretty damn good too. Ball control is really nice. Finishing there at 90 is insane. It is so, so good. Dribbling isn't too bad there at 83 as well. Penalties 84, long shots not too shabby and shot power pretty good also as well as his volleys. He's got 3 star skills, 3 star weak foot which is okay and medium medium work rates. And he has a few sort of specialities and traits which are quite good including poacher, speedster, clinical finisher, complete forward which I always love. Always usually means that he's a very good player and he has the finesse shot trait. So let's jump into the main block of the review. So my thoughts on Team of the Season Smolov were that he was an incredible player to use. He really took me by surprise. I didn't know much about this guy. I saw his Team of the Season card drop. I saw how inexpensive it was. And I thought, wow, I have to try this guy and I have to review him. And he did not disappoint. He scored me so many goals in such few games that I knew I had to have him. Originally, I didn't build a team around him. I just subbed him on in games. Uh, because I didn't think I'd be keeping him, but he impressed me that much that I want to keep him. I'm going to build squads around him because he is that good. He's almost like a, a team of the season Vardy, but so much cheaper because he's so quick. His pace is brilliant. He's got the acceleration and the sprint speed so he can get going quickly and he keeps going very, very fast. He's really quick in game. He feels good. His stamina isn't too bad as well, so he will sort of last. He's not maybe as good as Vardy's stamina-wise, but he will last, you know, pretty much until the end of the game, and he will really keep going at pace and give a real headache to defenders. And, and with his great pace and his really good attack positioning, which means he always makes really good runs and he can get on the end of so much, He's a real deadly finisher because his finishing at 90 is incredible. I mean, it was so easy to score goals from any angle, even when he was slightly off balance or it wasn't really looking like a good chance. He made it a good chance. He was that brilliant in the area and outside the area. Now, while his long shots and, and shot power could be a little bit higher, you know, they're good. Do not get me wrong. And, you know, you'll see other team of the season cards with higher they felt really good. They were they were very, very neat and tidy. I couldn't complain. I mean, his finishing, like I said, inside, outside the box was really neat and tidy. Very accurate, very precise. And you always felt like you could score with this guy. I mean, when you've got him in your team, you've always got the chance of scoring goals. And that's what you want from a team of the season striker. His dribbling was pretty good, to be honest. I was able to uh, to free up a lot of space. I weren't really popping any skill moves or doing anything too crazy. Just jinking in and out, just to throw off the defenders to get past them to just free up that little bit of space that you need because you don't need an awful lot. As soon as he gets his shot away, man, it's going in pretty much every time. So all you need is that little bit that he has got and then you're able to get that shot away and probably hit the back of the net. So dribbling wise, very, very good. His balance and, and agility could be a little bit better, but I found them pretty good in all honesty. Uh, you know, it's really picking at straws there in fairness. His heading is quite good. It's okay, you know, with his strength and his heading. He is quite good, although his jumping does leave a little bit to be desired for. It's okay, but not brilliant. But his strength is a really lovely feature on this card. He's so strong. He's great for holding the ball up. He's not just a get in behind sort of striker. He can really hold the ball up well, which is always good to have. So overall, just a brilliant striker that I've had to give 9 out of 10. Because for me, he did everything you would have want for him. He's exactly the sort of striker that I like using. He's pacey. He's got great finishing both inside and outside the box. His dribbling is pretty neat and tidy. Passing is quite good. And he's strong. I mean, you're going to struggle to find much better at this value. He's currently going for around sort of 40 to 50k. His price will probably fall a little bit, I would imagine, between 30 and 40 because of his league and nation. But... 
definitely build a squad around him. You'll be able to pick up a lot of these sort of uh, team of the season cards fairly cheap. Build it around him, be creative, use a hybrid or whatever. Get him in a good squad and you will reap the rewards, I promise you. So I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe and peace. Oh my god, you've got a legend! Have I? I've got to! <laughs> I have no idea, have I really? Are oh, any of these. Who is this guy? This card looks interesting. Oh! Stop with this card looks interesting! Go to the <laughs> fucking front! <laughs>